Hi, welcome to a bowl full of bread. Today we will be trying strawberry banana Cheerios. I've had a lot of good Cheerios in the past. I've had a lot of bad Cheerios in the past. I love the Honey Nut Cheerios. I love the Oats Cheerios. If you haven't tried those, you should try those. Today we're gonna try these. I've never tried these before. Sometimes the flavor's a little too much, like with the pumpkin ones. It was just like eating an actual pumpkin. Didn't like that. Smells delicious. Bag open great, box open great. Let's try it out. Immediate reaction is that they are delicious. Perfect amount of crunch as always, but the flavor, it is a kick in the mouth. It is fantastic. It is very, very strawberry so far. Very strawberry with sort of a, a whisper of banana, which is nice. I think the strawberry comes first and then the banana comes after. One thing I love about Cheerios, they start out at like a seven crunchy, and by the end, they're like a one, but they're still delicious at a one. The texture is so fun. They absorb all the milk. They get like twice the size once they're absorbed, and they're just so darn good. These are amazing. I absolutely love them. Another thing I love about Cheerios is the way the flavor is almost brushed on. It's a very surface flavor. Honey Nut Cheerios are so good because of the same reason. The flavor is just there. You can also fit like a million of them on your spoon, which I really like. They stick together really well. And because of the SOG factor, you don't have to rush through it if you don't want to, but they're not so hard that you can rush through them if you do want to. These are amazing, absolutely amazing. So these came in a double box from Costco. I don't know if I've seen it any other way, but for some reason when they do the double boxes, it's the same face on each side. So that part's kind of sad, but the flavor is just so good. I don't really care that much. Based on what I'm seeing here, it looks like there's going to be three different ring flavors. You've got the regular, the strawberry, and the banana. Between me and you, the regular ring is basically inedible. They're not good. The texture's fine, the taste is not there. It leaves you desiring much. The strawberry and the banana are fantastic. However, in this bowl, I don't know if there are any regular rings. It seems like it's either the strawberry or the banana. Flavor, I'm going to give this a solid 10 out of 10. Texture, I'm also going to give it a 10 out of 10. Absolutely fantastic. If you like Cheerios, I think you need to go buy these. I've had other Cheerios that were just not fantastic. The chocolate Cheerios, I feel like, are not strong enough chocolate. And the chocolate market out there is just so strong. There's so many chocolate cereals. Chocolate Cheerios, for me, are a swing and a miss. Peanut butter Cheerios, I'm pretty sure that's a thing. Same thing, there's a lot of peanut butter cereals out there. And the Cheerios just, I think they need to know their market, and I think they've figured it out with this. There are not a lot of strawberry banana cereals out there. There's a lot of over-the-top healthy strawberry cereals out there. You can go get the Special K with strawberries. And there's things like that that have actual freeze-dried strawberries in there. And those are good, I like those. But those are not ring cereals. So if you're looking for an easy to eat, absolutely delicious cereal, that has a ton of flavor, and it's not gonna leave you disappointed. I think you need to go try this. Another thing about Cheerios, it's kind of a hearty cereal. You can eat a bowl of Cheerios. You could eat two bowls of Cheerios if you wanted. And you're not gonna be hungry in 10 minutes, kinda like you would if you eat other ring cereals, like Oreo O's, one of my favorite cereals. I love Oreo O's, but for some reason, in a half hour I need to go eat another bowl because I'm hungry. Cheerios is not the case. So, I'm nearing the end. A little sad, but not too bad because I've got a whole nother box I can finish. The, the, the milk is still very white. These Cheerios by themselves, on the box here, it shows them being very pink. They're not that pink in real life. So they're all basically looking like slightly pink normal Cheerios. As a result, the milk looks like milk. It does not look like there's been really anything in it. So we'll see how much of this amazing flavor has bled off into the milk. So, milk's good. I would say that it tastes like 20% Strawberry milk, flavor maybe. It's not bad, it's not great, but it's not bad. Milk by itself is good, especially if it's whole milk. I am over the top impressed with this cereal. If you haven't tried it, I recommend going and getting it. You might have to go to Costco or Sam's Club to find it. 
It's well worth it. Get the two pack. It's absolutely fantastic. I'm going to give this cereal an absolute solid 10. It's delicious. The texture is amazing. You're going to stay full for a long time. The box is going to be my only critique. It'd be fun to have a game or a maze or something on back, but I can look past it because everything else is absolutely amazing. And this is for the health conscious. You can lower your cholesterol if you eat this. I'm not sure how much I believe that, but it's on the box, so it's got to be true somehow. It's absolutely fantastic. It's gluten free. It says there's no artificial flavors. Amazing. No colors from artificial sources. This is just so funny to me. What's an artificial source? It sounds like that wouldn't be a source if it was artificial. Anyways, none of that here. It is fantastic. Don't walk, run, go buy some. You never know how long a cereal is going to be around. I hope this one's here to stay. I hope that my great grandkids get to watch this and say, it's silly to think you thought it wasn't gonna be here any longer. It's here, go get it now. We'll see you next time. You wanna try some? No. What? <laughs> After my sales pitch? <laughs> that actually probably is the most solid cereal. So are we cutting here? Cut. I think before the end of the day, you need to at least try some.